Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Griff here, and in this video, I'll show you how to get Cyberpunk 2077 infinite money. If you want a quick and easy way to get rich, you're in the right place. Now, you might call this a money glitch, but really, we're just using the game's own mechanics against it. We're playing within the rules and not breaking anything, so you don't have to feel bad. Everyone's mean in the future anyway. You have to take what you can get. Cash or eddies is so important in Cyberpunk 2077. You need it to buy a range of fetching outfits. You need it to buy guns you can spontaneously whip out in public. And you need it to buy dodgy looking food from vending machines. It's one of the most precious resources in Night City. And I'm about to show you how to get a load of it real fast. Before I do though guys, show your appreciation by giving this video a like. And if you want more cyberpunk videos like this, subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin. Okay, now let's get rich. Okay, so how do we get as rich as possible, as fast as possible, in Cyberpunk 2077? Quite simply, we're gonna sell a bunch of junk. The first step is raising your character to crafting level three. To do this, disassemble all the junk you have. Junk sits in your backpack. If you need more junk, I recommend doing a quick mission. Any mission where you basically shoot a load of people will give you a bunch of junk. Just loot their bodies and scan the environment for more stuff. You'll get a load of weapons too, which you can also disassemble. Seriously, the weapons in this game, it's raining weapons. Once you're up to crafting level three, head into the perks menu and select the mechanic perk. The mechanic perk gives you more materials for disassembling things. That is very handy. Now, go into the crafting menu and craft as many level one bounce backs as you can. You should be able to make hundreds of them. After that, disassemble all of them. Just click on the icon and move the bar all the way to the right. As you can see, whereas they took one uncommon material and five common to craft, they actually give you three uncommon and six common when you break them down. Now, here's the best bit. Go to a shop, any shop will do, and sell your massive hoard of uncommon and common crafting materials. There's a handy shop right outside your apartment. It's automated, so you don't even have to talk to anyone. Every uncommon sells for eight in cash and every common sells for five so you can get thousands in no time at all to break down the numbers a bit you're making a profit of 21 every time you craft a bounce back disassemble it and sell it that's because the total cost of crafting a bounce back is 33 which is the price of one uncommon and five common but the total money you get from disassembling is 54 that's the price of three uncommon and six common 54 minus 33 is 21. So we get 21 for every bounce back. That is a huge amount for something you can craft using literal junk, which is everywhere. So much trash. Now, here's something to try if you're struggling to dissemble your bounce backs. Sometimes the game doesn't let you do it, in which case, simply eat an item from your inventory. Suddenly, you'll be able to. Yes, it's weird, but munching on a slice of pizza is the solution, just like in real life. Also, try unequipping the bounce back as you can't disassemble items you've got equipped. Finally, if you're still having trouble breaking down your bounce backs, try sorting all the items in your backpack. I don't know why, but I must just recalibrate something in the game's menu. That sometimes works, as does the old method of loading a previous save. Whatever happens, you will assemble your bounce backs. I've dug around in the inventory and tried this with other things, but as far as I can tell, the bounce back consumable is the only one to give you a straight profit. And that's level one bounce backs. Level two bounce backs, they'll give you more uncommon, but at a greater loss of common. So focus on level one bounce backs. Get junk, break it down, craft level one bounce backs, break them down, then sell your uncommon and common materials. Easy. As a bonus, you'll get 14 XP every time you craft. So not only are you improving your bank balance, but your experience too. It's like you're getting a reward for getting a reward. Thank you. I don't deserve it. Something that can help you even 
more with this money exploit is this perk here. It breaks down junk automatically so you don't even need to hold down the button, speeding the whole process along. You will still have to break down non-junk items like weapons and clothes, but it'll still save time. And you know what that means, more time to get rich. So that was my Cyberpunk 2077 Infinite Money Guide. Who knew junk was so useful? I should go rummaging around in bins more often. I hope this video helps you out guys. If it does, please leave a like. And hey, if you're after more Cyberpunk guides, subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Grip Griffin. Thanks so much for watching. Now here's the end screen.